so tell me a little bit about Susie Miller and uh, what attracted you to come onto this project. Well, Susie was James Hunt's wife, first wife. Uh, at the peak of his career, she was a successful fashion model in England. She was a well-known socialite. She was gloriously glamorous and had been warned against James. But uh, he wooed her and they ended up getting married and they had this kind of whirlwind romance. And they loved each other. You know, they had a lot of respect for each other and they loved each other, but it was unsustainable. And James had a lot of demons and stress and it didn't work out. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about your dynamic with Chris and kind of trying to build this volatile relationship? Well, Chris and I knew that it was important that we show that it was, uh, it, it was a love gone wrong. It wasn't a regrettable romance. It wasn't that they weren't compatible. It was that it, 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 they got together at a certain point in their lives and then, you know, it eroded because their lives changed drastically. His racing career became so intense and she wasn't able to be as present as the other racing wives, I think. You know, Susie had her own thriving career. So she wasn't able to be there at every race. She wasn't able to be maybe what he needed in a partner at that time. Right. Okay, and um, I guess given you're playing a real person um, who is still living, uh, what kind of what kind of research or legwork did you do for Susie? I read everything. I watched everything. I listened to everything. I just gleaned whatever I could from anywhere. Anywhere she popped up, I would I would steal from it and try to, you know, it was everything was a clue as to who she was. And was there anything surprising that came out of that, or like what was the most surprising thing? Would you say that came out of research? That came out of research about her. Um, that she still loved him. That that. She has no hard feelings. You know, I think he was an incredibly irresponsible partner, and yet she maintained love for him and, and supported him, you know, emotionally. While she was with Burton, she still was fond of James, and she loved that he, was, he became world champion. And I just thought it was really great that she didn't um, vilify him. You know, she kind of appreciated their time together and knew it, it wasn't meant to be, but she she moved on and remained fond of him. Okay, cool. And um, so I assume you've seen the finished film. Mm. Um, so what was the most surprising thing for you when you saw it for the first time? And what do you think audience might be surprised by or something that they might not have expected, you know, coming into the... So many things. I mean, it's, it's so... It's such a sexy movie. I You know, people don't think Ron Howard sex. <laughs> but it really is that, and it's such a cool movie. It's really got great music, it's got um, amazing cinematography, and watching it, I was amazed at how much is told in a short period of time. It's just a, a really comprehensive film, and I think I was surprised by the end how much I had been through with these guys. You know, I think it's really skilled filmmaking that can tell that big of a story that, that concisely. Excellent. 